Hello guys, welcome to a new style.io video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a complete beginner's guide to overclocking with style.io. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know, if you go to the earn tab, press referrals, and then type in the code XPSQHN, you can get double earnings on this application or the style.io. So, the reason I wanted to do this video is because a lot of people have been in my comments asking, let's just get right into the video. So, the first thing you guys are going to want to be doing is to download an application called MSI Afterburner. But before you do that, sorry, you go to sal.io, go to earn minor details, and make sure that your minor type is on GPU. Now, I will have a separate guide um, on how to overclock your your um, CPU if you don't have a GPU, but GPU mining is, is like literally 10 times more profitable, or 100 times more profitable. It is like a way more profitable. Now, I'm going to just say, overclocking does have some risks. You aren't completely safe. If you do overclock wrong, you can potentially lead to your graphics card um, getting damaged. But this is only if you do, are inexperienced and you do not watch a video and you just go in blind. So the first thing you guys want to do is to search up a guide on how to overclock. So just look at how to overclock for mining. Now, all of these tutorials are pretty much good, but I'm going to be showing you my personal setup for my RTX 2070 Super on how I managed to get at $2.50 a day to $15 per day mining on Sal.io, depending on the gas fees. So, you guys can watch one of these videos, or you can just um, pretty much copy my um, MSA Afterburner guide but i will also be talking about certain things and how to pretty much save power in other things so what you want to do is then open up in my afterburner and as you can see i am not currently on my minor setup i have a little preset here this is my minor setup so as you can see my power limit is set to 61 so pretty much what my power limit set to 61 pretty much means is um my graphics card is not using that much power it's only using the bare minimum amount of power but as you can see my graphics card is extremely cool so that's why my fan speed does not have to be that high fan speed does take up power and it also takes up you know it just creates a lot of noise so as long as you're mining in your um in your celsius is under 80 degrees then you pretty much do not have to worry about your graphics card being damaged if it's over like 70 to 80 degrees that's whenever it starts overheating and it actually can start preventing long-term damage to your graphics card so depending say if you have if your graphics card isn't that good at chilling you might want to raise the power limit a bit and then raise the fan speed a little bit to keep it in that range now the next thing i want to talk about is core clock core clock is not really designed to help enhance the mining profitability core clock is mainly just a thing to help you know the refresh of your games to help it running smoother so it's mainly mainly towards games and just navigating windows as a whole you don't really need to worry about it so what you can actually do is underclock your core clock slightly and increase your memory clock as high as possible before your graphics card starts to black out now what i mean whenever you say uh, your graphics starts to black out is if you raise your memory clock too high pretty much you'll see a ton of colors like flashing on your um, on your monitor screen and like a bunch of numbers this pretty much means it's overhauled and it can't display proper stuff so pretty much what you want to do to fix this is refresh is restart your computer nothing bad will happen you just restart your computer everything will be fine it will automatically reset you just make it like about 100 to 200 lower or like 100 to 50 lower than what your actual um what the actual max of memory clock is so yeah what i would also recommend doing is make your temperature limit as 80 to around 75 pretty much what this will do is this will target your fan speed and your um power to pretty much help you stay under that range if it goes over that range you pretty much it just resets your settings back to normal so this is a very good thing to have to make sure that your computer doesn't go over that certain amount that you do not want as you can see there's also a lock here you can press it which allows link or independent power and temperature limit adjustment this pretty much just uh, automatically does it for you and sets it but you can also set it yourself manually now another thing i'm going to be talking about not related to overclocking but this is a way to make your computer have a raised hash rate whenever mining so you go over to power settings and this is only if you're using gpu mining you go to change plan settings change advanced power settings processor power management and change both of these things to 25 percent each 
whenever these are raised, they're pretty much working at a really high amount, and usually your producer is probably already be on 100%. If you change it to 25% each, pretty much your CPU is not going to be working as hard, and you're going to be saving power, and more of that power will be going towards your graphics card mining. Another thing you guys can do is to turn off your monitor, which heavily increases hash rate. So as you can see, these are my settings pretty much for the RTX 2070 Super. You should, I would honestly would recommend you use these settings for different graphics cards, but the only thing I would not recommend copying is the memory clock off the bat. If you automatically change to not go to 950, there is a pretty strong chance that your graphics card will pretty much black out. But if it doesn't, you could go to 1050, you could go to the 1100. I'm not sure, every card is different, it doesn't even matter on how good the card is, some cards can just go higher. Make sure you test out and be very careful with your MSI Afterburner, as you could definitely mess up your computer if you do this wrong. But the only really way you can actually mess it up is if you pretty much you have your Celsius of your computer's temperature to go extremely high. If it's like 100 degrees Celsius, your freaking graphics card is going to blow up. I'm just gonna say that right now. Like, it cannot be that hard. Never mess with the core voltage unless you are extremely experienced. Only mess with the memory clock, the core clock, the temperature limit, power limit, and the fan speed. That, those are my overclock settings. That is an overall guide to overclocking how to increase your profits. I've seen myself go from like 32 mega hashes to 43.5 mega hashes. So I'm just saying how good um, overclocking is, but somebody was yelling me in the comments that it is bad. So overclocking, you have to be very careful with it. Anyways, guys, we're about to hit 1,000 subscribers, and I'm just gonna let you guys know. You guys can subscribe to my Patreon to get pretty much one-on-one -on -one access with me, ask questions, and get a ton of perks. Join my Discord. My Patreon will be listed on the right to pretty much show him that you get the perks. So here's my Patreon that's subscribed to me currently, Salad Maker. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I 1,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away a $20 Visa gift card at two Discord Nitros. If you comment down on the video that you use my referral code, you'll be entered. Have a good day. Like the video. And yeah, peace out.